Hey guys, I'm JR, and welcome to the first portrait project you'll be creating today in Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to be showing you how I turn this portrait from a simple sketch into a simple artistic landscape. It'll be quick and easy, and you'll be able to learn this within minutes. If you want to follow along, you're happy to do so. Now let's dive right into it and get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is click Create New. I'm going to leave it at Letter, Inches, Landscape, and Create. And now we're just going to get this just right, and click File, Place. Now before you do anything else, guys, be sure to download the exercise files so you can follow along with me and throughout these videos I'm going to be making, and I'll be posting new ones every so often here on the exercise files and on Skillshare. And be sure to download them from my Dropbox, you'll find them in the description below. Now let's get the sketch right here, you'll need that, landscape sketch. Click right there. And I'm going to just click Control minus to zoom out. Which is the quickest and easiest way, and I'm going to get my selection tool get it just right. Oops. Accidentally clicked Z there. Alright, uh, there we go. We got that aligned perfectly. Now I'm going to lock it so I don't have to move it around a bunch and so much. You know, that way it'll stay in one place and I can work around it. Alright, so now we're going to rename this background. Alright, we're going to be making several layers in this tutorial, so be sure to follow along and don't miss anything. Alright, there we go. Alright, now the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer, and I'm going to call this one Sky. That's what we need right now, is the sky, because that's the first thing we'll need to get everything just right, and the background just right. So that way the clouds, the sun, and everything can be perfectly at ease in one place. So I'm just going to get my shape tool and the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to not hold shift and I'm just going to drag that out so I can align it perfectly. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. It can just be however you want it. In fact, you don't have to like, you know, give it uh, the exact color I'm going to give it. Just give it no stroke there. I'm going to do it light blue. And I'm going to just... And it doesn't have to be, you know, the exact blue I'm doing. You can just, you know, get creative and do whatever blue you wish to do. And click preview to view it while you're doing this. It can be at night time too if you want it to be. Just, you know, as long as you're following along or if you want to do it after the video, that's fine too. Alright. And I'm going to just adjust that to just the amount of blue I want. That one's actually pretty nice. I'm going to just click off of that now. I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to just turn the eyeball off so that way I can work with this. I'm going to do the hills next, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get the ellipse tool, and I'm going to make ovals. I would use the pen tool or the curvature tool, but I find this to be the fastest and easiest way. Alright, so I'm going to give that, I'm not going to give that a color for right now, I'm just going to give it a stroke so I can see what I'm working with here. and. The neat thing about the direct selection tool, guys, is you can double click the anchor points here, as you can see as I'm doing, and you can adjust them to align them perfectly with your outlines. And these little lines right here, well, they can you can adjust these and move it around and twist it around to just the right curve you want it to look like. And I wanted to get it right about there, and that looks perfect for now. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. We're not going to fully adjust that just yet. And I'm going to just move that up. Adjust that till it's just right. 
take my direct selection tool and double click that and move that and adjust that. You can move that all around all day, but you know, sometimes it looks a little weird if you move it around a bunch. Now then, I'm going to put that back on so I can use the shape tool now. First I have to select everything in order to have to unlock that. In order to combine the shapes together, you're going to have to select all that and I'm going to do this. Pretty neat, huh? Hang on, I'm just I'm messing that up. <laughs> all right. Now we got that right there. And I know this might seem a little complex, but don't worry, we'll get it just right in no time. And I also messed that up. But actually, I'm going to probably just... That's okay to just do without that. We don't really need that down there, that color. Because it's going to be back in the back anyway. So I'm just going to lock that back up. And I'm going to go back there. And I think I'm, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to try to adjust this as best as I can. And if I can, I will just probably delete the anchor points if I were you. If you can't get it just right, to be exact, with the lines like that, then I would recommend just you delete the anchor points like that. There we go. That works. It's a lot simpler than I thought it would be. And if you mess up, just click Control Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac. All right, better get that right there. Well, I'm messing that up. Alright, so right about there, I'm going to get that. And I want to try to see if I can delete this anchor point. Oh, well, I deleted the whole thing. Give me one second, guys. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm just going to get the pen tool and straighten that out. I know I said I wasn't going to use the pen tool, but, you know, clearly I was lying, huh? Alright, there we go. Perfectly aligned. And it doesn't have to be this hard, guys. You can just, you know, use whatever you can. The necessary tools needed, so I'm just going to probably... Well, I'm probably not going to give it a color just yet, because I want to get the grass streaks, but right now I'm going to turn that off... And I want to probably just adjust this a little bit to where I need it to be, because I want to get that flower just right. And remember, it doesn't have to be aligned perfectly. It can just be, you know, kind of on the outer edge of the alignment. Just try not to struggle with that too much, guys. And right about there, anchor that together. And, yep, that's perfect. All right, so there we go. I I forgot to name that. So we're gonna name this layer hills. There we go. And for now, I'm not gonna give it. I'm not gonna give these colors just yet. I'm just going to probably do a new layer and give it grass streaks. I'm going to lock that. We're going to call this grass. Now, I'm probably not going to, you know... I'm not going to use all these grass streaks because I don't want to... Because I don't want to, um... I don't want to focus too much on getting all of these grass streaks in there and having to spend all day doing that. So I'm just going to... For now, I'm just going to... Get the pencil tool, 
And I'm just gonna give it the right amount of stroke. I'm gonna give it that green. And you, do, you guys don't really have to align all of these. You can probably just streak wherever you want. Just be, make sure they're, you know, shorter than that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna zoom in on some of these. I'm probably just gonna do a few here. I would do them freely, but I'm gonna try to just align some of these just right. And you don't even you don't even have to follow along with me necessarily. You can just uh, streak grass wherever you want. All right, there we go. We got that. We got that. That. The cool thing about making illustrator things like this uh, is it's it's pretty fun and enjoyable to do and it's not hard at all. It's, you can like do this at home and it's probably good practice to make your own art like this uh, basic art at home just so you can get a better depth of illustrator better and that way you can learn the tools as you create as much artwork as you want. In fact, you don't even have to create your own artwork or make a sketch. You can just take an average photo and you can draw on it with the pencil tool here. Alright, well, looks like I got most of those. I'm going to just give this right there. Alright, there we go. The cool thing about the pencil tool is, is that you can smoothen it out to look perfect like this, uh, and it looks better this way. I recommend just keeping it smooth like that. There we go, there we go, and that's perfect. Alright, there we go. So, that's on top, so that way this will be on the front, view it on the front. Now I'm just going to click Control zero to see my artwork perfectly just get it all unzoomed and aligned perfectly now I want to unlock my hills and I want to click on those make sure I just only got those selected click shift hold shift to select both and I'm gonna give them color now so now I'm just gonna get rid of that stroke because we don't need it anymore and I might need this stroke later though, just in case. So I'm gonna just give it that green because I think that green looks pu beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And now I'm probably just gonna do... Probably just gonna need to adjust this now because now that's looking a little weird. I'm probably gonna... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just start over on the sky because I think I kind of... I kind of messed that, that up earlier. <laughs> All right, about there. And there we go. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to lock it. All right, now next we're going to do this flower or the tree, whichever. But I'm probably just going to do the flower because that looks like it's a little bit more work. The tree was fairly easy for me, so it should be easy for you guys. But the flower, you know, I'm going to have to use the curvature tool. So I'm going to call this flower slash B. I'm going to also do the B on this layer. So I just lock up the grass there. And I'm going to probably just turn off my hills because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, now I'm just going to use, actually, you know what? I'm just going to use the line segment tool to create the stem. It doesn't have to be perfect, aligned perfectly or anything. I think I'll just give it that green, that green right there. Now we're going to use the pencil. 
Actually, you know what? Let's try the curvature tool. On second thought, <laughs> the pen tool. That, that'll probably work a lot easier, right? Oops, went too far. Alright, now... As you can see what I'm doing here with the pen tool, if I click and hold and stretch like that, and drag, I mean, it can look perfect. Now I'm going to just select off that because I want to get a new place going. And yes, the pen tool is perfect for drawing, along with the curvature tool, but the curvature tool is more for like curving around certain things and not like this, you know. If, if you want maybe like something like this over here, this line, and you want to use the curvature tool for that, that's what that's perfect for. If you want to make it like some kind of perfect circular type thing, that's what the curvature tool is used for. But the pen tool makes corners a lot simpler and easier. Because with the curvature tool, you have to double click in order to get it to align straight like this. And one thing I want to, sh one quick thing I want to show you guys real quick is the smooth tool. I don't really need to smooth anything out, but oh, apparently I do. But the smooth tool, what it's good for is smoothing out your lines, as you can see there. It looks a lot better. But with like, you know, I recommend probably using the direct selection tool more because with the smooth tool, it's a little more. It's a little more work, as you can see what I'm doing here. It, it takes a lot more time to get it just right. And sometimes it acts a little weird if you keep doing it. You know, like sometimes the lines will get a little out of proportion. So maybe just do it like a couple times or a few times and that will be it. You know, you don't need to use this tool a whole lot. If you want to maybe get your lines perfect and everything, you know, curved out, I recommend using the direct selection tool. In fact, I did once use this a whole lot, but now I don't use it so much anymore because I realize people use the direct selection tool more, so a lot more people use that. I recommend just st sticking with that tool. Alright, so my flower looks perfect and pretty, so now I'm just going to... Actually, you know what? I want to just hold on a sec. I need to unattach that line because it's not supposed to be attached like that because I'm afraid if I mess with the stroke it'll get rid of that color so I'm probably just gonna delete just going to minus that out right there delete that line oops got that one there we go I'm gonna just keep it that way so that way I can focus on the upper part of the flower now we're going to give this a nice pretty purple. That one looks a little weird. Hang on a sec. I want to just give that a bit of a diamond shape like that. There we go. Well, that looks weird now. <laughs> Sometimes if you mess around too much with the pen tool, it looks a little weird, as you can see there. And yes, it doesn't look quite you know, like it's centered properly, and I might have done something wrong there, but sometimes your pen tool may act up a bit uh, like that, you see. But I'm just going to ignore that and see if I can what I can do here. Alright. There we go. And I want to just bring that to the front, arrange, bring to front. There we go. If your line, if your lines get, you know, kind of in the back like that, then you probably want to try to adjust it a little. So I'm going to actually give this a new stroke so I can see this outline right here. And I'm going to just do probably like a... Actually, I want to do more of a purplish color just to get it to look just right. That didn't look good. Oh yeah, that's the exact color. <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually, you know what? I want to use that color again, and I'm going to just adjust that. 
to look somewhat similar to that color. Right about there, I think that'll do. Yes, that looks beautiful. Wonderful. And I want to just lower down my stroke right there. As you can see there, if I lower down my ear, if you lower down your stroke and click the arrows, you can lower it down to whatever you want it to look like. So I'm going to just probably give it a 0 0.5. See how that looks? That doesn't look good. I'm going to actually try that one. Right, you know what? I want to just adjust it to right about there. Nah, actually, you know what? That one's good. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't decide there for a second. Now, I think that looks, yes, that looks perfect. Uh, and I'm going to get out my line segment tool again, and I'm going to just click and drag, give that a new stroke, give it a green stem color like that, and I want to give that stroke two points. This looks perfect. It's beautiful. All right, now it's time to move on to the B. I'm going to just, I'm just going to use the line segment tool to get these little streaks right here. I'm going to just zoom in and do that, and that, and that, that. Because I don't feel like curving it too much because you probably won't be able to tell the difference on the outside of your drawing. There we go, I'm just gonna give that one stroke. All right, that looks perfect, and I better give that, better give them all, almost forgot to give them a black color. And if you wanna select all, you don't have to click and drag. You can click shift and select all, and now, click black. Actually, wait, that's not black. What's going on here? Sometimes, you know, I know sometimes, like, Illustrator may seem a little complicated to some people, and yes, it can be. It's still frustrating to me sometimes, but uh, try not to, you know, panic too much. Otherwise, you know, you might lose your mind. <laughs> not really, but, you know, you get the idea. You, Sometimes Illustrator can be a pain to work with. Sometimes, you know, it may glitch. It may, you know, crash your computer, depending on how much space your computer takes up. So just try to work with what you can. I didn't mean to zoom out. All right, there we go. You got those lines now. And I'm going to do the B. I'm going to give the B just a... The ellipse to an oval shape. That way I don't have to, because I, I can't quite see it as you can see, because sometimes with you, when you like sketch something and you scan it into the computer, it won't look, you know, in proportion with everything. The outlines won't look right to you, right? Because you won't be able to see what you're doing. I'm going to just square, give, put a little square in there. But yeah, if, as you can see, it looks a little pixely like that because uh, it's not like Photoshop, you know, it doesn't render perfectly with your outlines or anything, or photos in general, because sometimes if things, you know, are far away and you can't quite, you know, see what you're doing and you need to zoom in and it then it just looks all pixely like this, it won't look just like, you know, the exact outlines you need to draw on because... In Photoshop, it's easier when you want to see what you're doing. But I can see just fine. It's not too much of a big deal. I wouldn't make it too much of a fuss about it. Alright. Oops. And I'm going to just double click that. And yeah, sometimes the pen tool acts up like that, as you can see there. So I'm just going to probably undo that. I want to start over. In fact, the wings shouldn't even look like that. It should be like this. And I'm going to... Later on, I'm not going to give this a stroke. I'm just going to... 
give this a white edge right there and I'm gonna give that oh and if you double click your drawings like this you can work with just this one particular shape in general that way you don't have to mess around with everything else that's going on around in your drawing and if you double click off you can get off that now I'm gonna just get my smooth tool and use that like I said the smooth tool it can be a lot of work it's not quite you know the best tool but it's kind of it is pretty useful at times but not a lot of people use it I want to just give that no stroke there we go perfect and I want to just I want to just arrange that move it to the back there we go If you want to arrange something, be sure to click on it, and it will show up over here, and you can also right-click and bring to front, back, whatnot. Now I'm going to make that. And if I double-click that, I can straighten things out again. Sometimes the pen tool, if you don't if you just stretch out like this, like you see like this, it'll curve like that. But if you double click on it, you can straighten it back out again, as you can see there. All right, there we go. Now I wanna get my smooth tool just to get it just right. Cause I don't like the way that looks over here or there. Right about, that's right about there's just fine and now arrange send it back the thing about send the thing about arrange guys is like when you click send to send backward or forward it doesn't quite do anything as you can see there it's not like you know bring to front or bring to back because sometimes it just does that for some reason it's not like a hold on a second when I give that no stroke it's not like, you know, when it comes to bringing it in the front and bringing it in the back, it's not going to bring it fully to the back or front. It's just going to send it somewhat backward and somewhat forward. That's what it's really trying to tell you when you can't fully see it doing that. So it's just going to kind of somewhat bring it towards there, but you can't really see it. But it does still bring it a little bit back front up front all right so i think that looks good actually no wait that shouldn't be white that should be black color oops i did that i messed that up right that line should just be black right there and no stroke well, that looks a little weird now, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so. Not to worry, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna just do that. And if I click on these. Sorry about that. If I click on these, double click on these, or just don't double click at all, I can adjust all of these and move it like that. In fact, what I should probably do is this. Get my selection tool out. And arrange, bring to front. Oops, I messed that up. Alright, now there we go. Alright, now, there we go. I think that'll... That'll actually... That actually looks a lot better. Well, let's just see that up close. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. 
Or actually, should this be... Should this be black? I forgot what the color of a bee looks like. Sorry, guys. And should this be yellow? Nah, I'm pretty sure it's... I'm gonna just leave it like that. Because that looks a little bit more artistic. Like that. Alright, now let's mine us out of that. And I'm gonna bring all my other stuff back. Alright, now we lock each of those. Alright, so... Oops, actually I'm gonna probably leave all these off so I can get the tree now. We're gonna do the tree next. Now we're gonna create a new layer. Call that tree. There we go. Now we can just lock all that and leave it off. Alright, so now we're gonna make the tree. That one's not gonna be as hard as you think it is. It's just, this is fairly easy. Anyone could make a tree in Illustrator. All it does is take a stump, and I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with the stump too much. I'm gonna just give it the brown color it needs, and the stump's just gonna stay the way it is. So actually, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just call this one stump, so that way. We can work with the covering it up overhead, like like the leaves. Get oh, go away. Leaves. We'll call this one leaves. You following along? I hope so. All right. So now I'm gonna lock that up so I don't mess anything up because I want to get this just right. In fact, I almost forgot I needed to turn that off and get a stroke going. And we're not going to use the curvature tool too much in this tutorial, guys. We're just going to probably just going to use the pen tool, the pencil tool, and the direct selection tool. We're not going to, you know, do a whole lot of adjusting with the curvature tool because I feel like that one's just. You know, there's not a whole lot of stuff to curve around as much as the pen tool is good for some of that. Alright, there we go. I feel like I'm giving these too much giving it too much but don't worry i'll just use the smooth tool to get rid of some of these anchor points that's another neat thing about this ink the smooth tool it gets rid of anchor points double click that all right there we go now let's get out our smooth tool get some of that i'm probably not going to get rid of all of these because i want to still it's still a tree and leaves are kind of all you know, over the place, so it's not really necessary. Alright, now I'm gonna give it that kind of green. In fact, let's see if that's the same green as the... Actually, you know what, that's fine, but actually, you know what, I'm gonna give it... You can go, You guys can go ahead and leave it that exact green if you want, but I'm gonna give it my own green. Right about... Yeah, that looks good. Alright, now let's turn all that off. Get my stump back. Now we're going to get the pencil tool out and draw lines right there. And I'm going to give that stroke a bright green. Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally clicked fill. All right, there we go. No, no fill. Hang on, I gotta go back. No fill. Or I didn't have to go back. All right, there we go. And there we go, like that. And if you want these to be smooth, I probably showed you this in the last tutorial, you have to move this up and down to get it smooth or accurate. And the width, uh, 
probably you probably just want to leave that the way it is but some of you can adjust that as much as you want but i recommend just leaving it at the number it already is all right there we go i want to get rid of some of these lines actually because some of them don't look like leaves there we go All right, now I'm going to just do it like a wavy kind of look that way it doesn't I would think it's a little too smooth right here now. Give it more of like a rough wavy look. That way it looks like leaves in a tree like that. All right, there we go. And there. That one looks stupid. I'm going to get rid of that. And do that one again. There we go. And we're not going to give this a stroke anymore. Because now we're done with that. And it's just as simple as that. Now let's see how that looks. That looks perfect. Alright, now we're going to create another layer. Because I'm going to start on the clouds now. Now let's click Control Zero. I want to just leave these off and lock them. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna start on the clouds, and I think now actually now we're not gonna use the curvature tool, but we're gonna use. Actually, let's try the curvature tool. Just see how that looks. Sorry, that was the pen tool. There we go. Yeah, that looks perfect. I forgot I used the curvature tool. That's right. <laughs> I forgot how to in almost how to do this entirely. So I think now we're getting back on track. I'm getting back on track. All right, now we're going to use the curvature tool. All right, and there's not going to be. We don't need a stroke right now. We're just going to give it white for the time being, and I'm just going to do that, that. And if you want to straighten out your lines, always double click that anchor point. There we go, double click that, and that, and that, there we go. And now, oops, I messed that one up. And now we got to do this. Let me start over here, actually. There we go. That works better. And always be sure to straighten out your lines if you want to get it just right. And the curvature tool is, is great for a lot of things, actually. It's great for drawing perfect curved stuff. And you could put as many anchor points as you want, and it'll still come out smooth. And you don't, you don't really need to use the smooth tool for this one, because it's just automatically smooth.
All right, this should be easy. Now we're gonna do the sun after this, which is the last thing we're gonna do. And that should be pretty simple. We're just gonna do different layers of the sun. Several different layers of colors to make it look like the sun. All right, there we go. Is that all the clouds? Yep, that's all the clouds. All right, there we go. And I forgot to name this one. Clouds. All right, there we go. Now, control zero. And now we're just gonna click off of that. We're gonna have all these off except for that one, so that way we can concentrate on the sketch for each of these. Uh. And now we're going to, yes, create a new layer, call it sun. All right, now we, we're not gonna create a perfect circle. We're just gonna make them oval shaped because as you can see, it's like making different layers back there. So we're not gonna give these a fill just yet. We're gonna give them strokes. There we go. And I'm gonna make several actually in the back. They don't have to be perfect. They can just be whatever size they want. And click off of that. And right about there. There we go. Now I'm going to give this one a fill. And I'm gonna actually give it kind of a, I'm actually gonna make this white. And we're gonna arrange it to go to back. So we can work with these other ones, these other layers. This one's gonna be kind of a, this one's gonna be kind of an orange-ish, or no, yellow-ish. Actually, I can't decide what it, I'm gonna just go over here and try to adjust this a bit, cause there we go. That's what I needed. That's, I for, that's what I was thinking of, I forgot. All right, so we're gonna come over here and give it the right yellow it needs. That's a little, it's still a little too bright actually. I'm gonna just lower it down a bit more. Still doesn't feel like yellow to me, but that'll have to do. In fact, I wanna give it the opacity, or no, not all opacity, just yet. We need to arrange it, send it back one more time, and we'll send this back one more time as well. There we go. Now we're just going to give it just an average yellow. That's just going to have to do it like that. And now no stroke, and there we go. We got a perfect sun. In fact, I'm going to try seeing what these look like with the opacity. Now let's turn all these on. There you go. And I'm gonna lower the, the opacity meter. Helps you adjust how your image looks. If it looks transparent or if it looks, or if it's supposed to look kind of a little like, you know, like you're looking through a window or something, you know, you wanna make it look just like that. And you wanna give it that transparent look it needs. That's what the opacity is good for. It can adjust. If you adjust it all the way off, it'll go off. But if you adjust it all the way to the media, to the middle, it'll look the exact way you want it to look. In fact, I wanted both these selected. Sorry about that. And now uh, just get that to look just right. That's probably fine. All right, now we're gonna move the clouds to the front so that way. That way that clouds over that the sun there. All right, perfect. And 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that's how you're able to make a simple sketch in Illustrator from into a portrait. So now we got everything we done. So now I want you guys to try this on your own. I want you to create your own kind of landscape portrait. I want you to probably make one. Probably not like this one. You can do it like this one, your own version of this one. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing, but you can do something like at nighttime, or you can do something like, you know, out at sea. Just make sure, you know, to send it to me through, through the comments or on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the very next tutorial. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye now.